Hello Taurus, welcome to your weekly forecast for April 6th through the 12th. We're going to see what's happening the week ahead for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising with this tarot deck here. And then we're going to pull an oracle card for you guys from that deck there. So without further ado, Taurus, let's get right on in it here. Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the week ahead. And here is your Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay, dears. So Monday, Tuesday, we have three of challenges, Taurus. Okay? Now, we've got a full moon happening. So it doesn't surprise me that some of you might be starting off the week with this, uh, you know, strong energy coming in. Three of challenges is going to be about a truth being revealed. And... It can be about a sacrifice that needs to be made, okay? Now, if it's any consolation to you, it might not be, but many people are in this boat right now. We're kind of like in a challenging time where we're trying to figure, you know, what we need to hold on to, what we need to let go of. However, Taurus, um, I feel for a lot of you, this is going to be in terms of like friendships or relationships that you might be realizing are just taking too much from you, too much of your time, too much of your resources. And so you might be feeling like you have to give someone or something up as a matter of, you know, self-preservation or to take care of yourself or to do what's going to be best for you. You know, maybe you just have somebody that's just taking advantage uh, of things way too much. And you're like, you know what, this isn't good for me. This isn't good for my health gonna have to let this go the the three of challenges can sometimes also be a truth being revealed right so say you've been giving someone a lot of chances or you've been on the fence about whether or not to go in a new direction some of you are gonna have spirit come in in a very powerful way where they are showing you the true colors of a person or situation so that you can finally let go of it Okay, um, you can finally let, let go of it and you can be in the energy where you realize that this is not something that's going to be, um, you know, beneficial for you to continue. And for whatever reason, Taurus, I feel for a lot of you, this is coming by way of where you're feeling like, uh, how can I say this? I feel it's like in a work situation. I really do. I feel like it's in a work situation and I feel maybe, you know, those of you who are working from home or you're still reporting to work, but maybe the positions are limited. I feel like somebody else because they felt threatened and because they felt like they need to secure their job or they don't want to get cut out. I feel like it's being brought to your attention that someone said something uh, very uh, like potentially damaging about you, like that you've, you've not been doing your job or you did something you weren't supposed to do or you're cutting corners, just something that with the intention of, you know, I'm a good employee, Taurus is a bad employee. And I feel like it's being brought to your attention Monday, Tuesday with like an open mindedness, like, a, hey, like, let's talk about this. Let's figure this out. You know, so and so said this. Is this true? And you might feel like, man, I'm so hurt by this person that they would do something like this, even though maybe times are tough and maybe they're insecure or they feel like they got to, you know, cover their, their butt or whatever. But you might be very hurt and very surprised by it. And you might find yourself where you're in a situation where you're like, man, this is really unfair because it's not true. It's twisted. And they're the ones that did this and this and this and that. And I don't want to go around getting people in trouble. But now that they're trying to throw me under the bus, now I have to reveal them. And so I feel like you have a very difficult situation where you're having to say, well, actually, 
The truth of the matter is this, 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 and this, and that. And I feel afterwards you're feeling very bad on a lot of different levels. You're feeling bad because you're hurt that this person would do this. And a part of you might also feel kind of bad that you got them in trouble. I do feel, Taurus, that in some cases this person will end up getting cut or let go, or they may decide to keep you and let this other person go, or put this other person on like furlough or something. And so a part of you feels bad for this, but spirit is just making it very clear to you who is not in your corner. Like it's being very clear to you who does not have your back. And, uh, you know, you're going to have to make choices and decisions that are going to be, um, you know, beneficial for you, beneficial for your family, beneficial for your loved ones. And so it's a difficult decision to make, but you're seeing like who is not to be trusted and you're having to, like you might have a hand in somebody getting cut. Some of you might be in a position in a work situation where you're having to decide who gets to stay and who has to go. And that is something very difficult for you. And if that's the case, Taurus, remind yourself that this is not your fault, right? That, you know, you have to make decisions. It doesn't make you a bad person. It doesn't make you a mean person. You are doing a job you've been given to do. And so I feel some of you are having a hard time uh, as far as that is concerned. Okay. Um, I feel some of you are even maybe making a decision to leave or to walk away from a situation. Um, you know, maybe you've, maybe you're in a situation, many of us were in isolation right now. Maybe it's been difficult for you to be in your current environment or living or staying with the people you've been staying with. You may be making a decision. I, I can't, I am going to have to go stay somewhere else until this whole thing blows over or maybe I don't want to go back. So there may be a parting of ways and you might feel like I have to do this to keep the peace because there's just too much craziness happening. Emotions are too high, especially this week, guys. Keep in mind, we are coming into this full moon energy and emotions and feelings can be really amped up around the full moon. People can be more emotional. And so you might be feeling like you're removing yourself from the equation for the sake of keeping peace. Maybe there's been a lot of bickering in your home. And so you may be like kind of trying to find a different arrangement for a little bit. I don't want you to freak out. That's not going to be for all of you Taurus. You know, there's many, many uh, Taurus that watch these videos. These are general readings. So it's going to be different for different ones of you. So it's not going to be for every single one. Uh different situations the good thing i'll say about three of challenges is in my experience even though it can be a very intense experience and even though you know we might feel a lot of sad heavy emotions or maybe even cry it doesn't last for very long so that's one positive thing i can say about it this is not something that's going to carry over for weeks or months you know this is something that maybe within a few days you can get it out of your system your Wednesday, Thursday card is Ace of Visions. This is very positive. This is super positive. Okay. Ace of Visions is new offers, happiness, peace, harmony, joy. So whatever you're releasing in this full moon energy or whatever you're having to sacrifice, you are seeing the positive outcome fairly quickly within a couple of days. Uh, for some of you an ace of visions is going to be equivalent to ace of cups and those of you that you watch my videos you know I'm very happy when I see ace of cups because to me that says you're making a super positive karmic shift where you're done with repeating lessons you're done with repeating cycles we've all had that experience where we have the same stuff happen to us again and again and we're like, oh my goodness, like, why do I keep ending up in this kind of relationship? Or why do I keep ending up having this kind of, you know, fake friends or this kind of terrible job or horrible boss or whatever? Like, it just feels like the same thing no matter where you go. But with the Ace of Cups, it's telling us that you're coming into the energy where you've learned your lesson. And you're like, you know what, universe, I'm sick of feeling this way. I don't want to, uh, you know feel this way anymore. 
I've learned my lesson, I'm done with it, right? I've learned the red flags, I know what to look out for, I'm, I'm just, I'm not doing this anymore. Universe says awesome, Taurus is awake now. Taurus no longer needs that discomfort to wake them up. Now they're ready to learn from happiness, joy, support, love, you know, positive experience. So you're turning over a new leaf and you're coming into a time of uh, more positive energy, the positive karma, the positive karma lesson. Okay, so you're coming into this energy and it's coming into that positive way. Um, so it's good, right? I told you this is not going to be something that's going to last very long. An Ace of Cups coming up midweek or Ace of Visions coming up midweek is kind of confirming that for us. So be patient there. At least you don't have to wait too long. Your next card here is Six of Boons. Wow, 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 wowie, wow, wow, Taurus. So we talked about blessings and here it is. Six of Boons is going to be like Six of Coins, Pentacles, Diamonds. Six of Boons is going to be very free-flowing, abundant energy, right? Um, I feel a lot of you are coming out of some karmic or some karmic debt is being released, but Six of Boons also is about financial debt, physical debt. So maybe if you've been worried about paying people back uh, or if you've been worried about, uh, you know, accounts or things that you have to pay off, Six of Boons is you have finances coming into where you're going to be able to make these payments. You're going to be able to pay these things off and you're going to be able to put money aside for the future and still have money to uh, enjoy your life and do things that you like doing and to give to those less fortunate. Um, so some opportunity is coming in for you guys, okay? Uh, and the doors are opening, I feel, this week where uh, I heard foot in the door. For some of you, it's getting your foot in the door and over time, this is where you're going to be headed. But there's definitely this chance for abundance and this chance of having uh, even flow give and take where it's not just so one-sided. Maybe in the past, Taurus, you've had a hard time because maybe you've been super generous in the past and you've gotten burned. And you're like, well, gosh, I'm never going to go through that again. I bend over backwards for somebody to take advantage. So then maybe moving forward, you become very closed fisted. You become very cautious. You, you're like a steel trap because you don't want to get taken advantage of. Then you have people like, oh, Taurus, you're so greedy. You're so selfish. You all, you know, you never give anything. And so you might be like, well, I'm damned if I do. I'm damned if I don't. Like, where's the balance? When I'm nice and I give, people take too much and they take advantage of me. When I'm careful and I try to protect myself, they accuse me of being mean or stingy or whatever. You're finding the right balance and you're beginning to call in people in situations that aren't going to take advantage, that are going to be able to, uh, you know, uh, give and take, uh, you know, uh, like, like uh, balanced, right? Like two givers giving to each other, you know, coming into this kind of energy, coming into this kind of flow. Uh, we're going to go ahead and check out your oracle card, my dears. Don't forget to watch your moon sign and rising sign videos. Some weeks they may resonate with you more than others. They might bring a little extra information. You might need a private reading, which I'm more than happy to do. If you click on the Calendly link in the description of this video, you can schedule a private card reading with me there. Not to be confused with the astrology link in the description. I'll explain that in a moment. But if you want a private reading, you can click where it says Calendly. All right, my dears, here is your oracle card. You have scared to fly. The right moment, sensing out the right timing. So that's what I feel this is about. You've been scared to fly, but something is happening where you're, you're kind of being forced to fly. You're being forced to speak. You're being forced to just let it fly, let it rip, and say the truth. Uh, and this is giving you an opportunity actually to move ahead, right? Maybe some of you Taurus, like you've been that kid in school where maybe you held back in school. Maybe you could have gotten better grades. Maybe you could have performed better. 
But maybe you were scared that, oh, well, if I answer, if I raise my hand and answer, if I do a really good job, then all the other kids are going to be like, oh, look at Taurus, teacher's pet. Oh, what a kiss up. Oh, what a nerd. What a dork. And then so you're like, oh, gosh, well, I don't want to bring that attention to me. So maybe you held back. You know, maybe you, you were afraid to kind of shine or excel. And I feel something is happening where you're being pushed or you're being forced to shine or excel or bond with an authority figure and tell them the truth of really what's going on. And this is pushing you into that, you know, chance for change, right? Scared to fly, but like, look, she's got these wings. So even if she fell off these branches, if the branch broke, or if she fell off this tree, she still has those wings. She's going to be okay. So you're coming into this new opportunity. You know, one is emphasizing the eight here. Eight is about abundance. It's about eternity. It's about forever energy. Um, if we want to reduce it, one plus eight equals nine, which is the number of spiritual lessons, right? So you're going to learn some very powerful things right now. And this is the moment. You might feel a little bit pushed, okay? But this is it. This is the time for change. And you're going to be able to bring about very positive changes in your life. Specifically, it seems around the realm of finances and fulfilling work. Work that feels fulfilling to you. Okay. Um, again, watch your moon sign and rising sign video. If you want more love life stuff, you can watch the love videos for April. Those are linked in the description. Uh, Calendly link. You can schedule a private reading with me. The astrology link for Truly Divine, they've got like some free articles there that break down astrology. I've told you guys I'm not an astrology expert. Many of you have been messaging me, emailing me, asking me to like analyze your birth chart. And I don't want to give you incorrect information because I'm not an astrologer. My understanding of astrology is super basic, but I was really impressed. They gave me an astrology breakdown and I was really impressed. And so I said that I would go ahead and like recommend them and they were really nice and they offered to sponsor the channel by giving you guys unlimited 30% off for however many reports you want to get if you want to get a private personal report. You can get a forecast for the year, you can get natal chart analysis, you can get love and relationship compatibility, as many reports as you want. It's off their already very reasonable prices. So you can definitely check that out if you would like, okay? Now, it's going to be different, you know, maybe some of you don't want to do that. You just want to check out the free stuff. Feel free to do that. Uh, and guys, don't forget, every single day on Instagram and Facebook, I post a message of the day, a card of the day, and I do a cool little pick a card game. So make sure you're on the social media if you aren't already, and check out the daily messages. I'm also going to be doing monthly giveaways on there. So I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Have a wonderful, wonderful week, my dears. Take care.